Right, first of all, why have the NEU decided to reject this pay offer? Well, uh, we gave our members an individual vote in a ballot, um, uh, which w they could, uh, you know, do by text or by email. Uh, we, the ballot was open for six days. We got a 66% response and 98% of the members rejected it. So this is a rejection not by uh, the leadership of the NEU, but by the members themselves. And they rejected the offer because it simply is just not good enough. Well, what what do you want then? What would be good enough? What would be good enough in an ideal situation? What are you looking for? Well, um, we went into negotiations looking for uh, two things. Uh, a pay offer which uh, will recruit some of the value that, that teachers have lost because of the cost of living crisis, which is causing huge problems in the profession, and to address the long-term decline in teacher pay. Teachers have lost more in real terms pay than any other occupational group in dispute with the government. Um, they've seen the value of their pay decline by 23% uh, in re retail price index inflation. And uh, that's having an absolutely massive consequence on teacher supply in our schools. Basically, we're running out of teachers. What would you say to the Education Secretary, Gillian Keegan, who says that the decision will simply, I guess, and it will in some ways, result in more disruption for children um, going forward because when the strikes happen, the schools will have to close. We are running up to senior school, high school exams. Um, what do you say to, to Gillian Keegan's comments that this will impact negatively on children? Uh, well, we regret the fact that teachers have been driven to strike action. They don't do it lightly. They don't do it easily at all. But the fact of the matter is, schools are being disrupted every day. They're being disrupted because um, there aren't teachers in the school, the number of teachers teaching out of their subject area, the number of children who are getting repeatedly, repeatedly getting temporary teachers, because schools can't appoint and can't retain teachers. And the reason for that is hugely excessive workload and increasingly poor pay. And you can't keep doing that to a profession and expect standards of education to be maintained. They are being harmed because of the current chronic crisis in our schools every day. The strikes are a measure of how frustrated and how angry teachers are that their voices have not been listened to, that their workload has increased exponentially and their pay has gone down. And Julian Keegan also said, though, that there was going to be a commitment to significantly cut workloads um, after the, the government has announced a task force would look at reducing workloads by an average five hours a week for teachers. Would that be something that would help? Well, if they actually did manage to reduce workload by five hours a week, that would be very helpful. But unfortunately, the, in negotiations, the government rejected any of the concrete measures that we put forward, the union side put forward, to really reduce workload. You can wish to relate reduce workload, that's a good wish to have. You have to will the means and, and will the ends. And if you're going to reduce workload, you have to be serious about the drivers of workload, which is, in our, in, we think, a, a very, very poor accountability system, which drives school leaders um, to, um, to really bad places. It is located in um, constant changes in government policy, uh, and which can create, in, which create massive workload. And, um, it, and it's because of lack of funding and resources, which means that teachers have to work harder and harder without the proper equipment, with increasing class sizes. So unless you're prepared to do something about the drivers of workload, all of which requires serious reform, you're not going to achieve a five-hour reduction. And the government's been promising reductions in workload for decades now and hasn't achieved them. What is the mood amongst teaching professionals right now? I think they're very angry. I think they are very angry that they have been forced to take four days of strike action and are now preparing to take more. They don't want to do that. They're very angry that the government has just found every excuse it possibly can not to negotiate. And they're very angry at what they see is the lack of respect and the lack of value that teachers are getting um, from this government. I think all of those things lead to a huge amount of anger in the profession. Okay, thank you very much. Dr. Mary.